Amen. In Jesus' name, we thank God for making it possible for you and I to be here once more. I want you to take the opportunity to take Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. After accepting Jesus, your life will never be the same because Jesus is the word. Accepting Jesus is the great thing that you have ever made, a great decision, and that is the greatest miracle ever. Taking Jesus is only Jesus that we have, Jesus that you can be with Jesus today, even after death, you'll be with Jesus. But apart from Jesus, anything that you take here, you run after prosperity, you run after money, you run after fame, you leave it here. Then when you go, you go and meet whoever and whatever you're supposed to meet. But when you meet Jesus, you take Jesus, you be with Jesus now. When you die, you be with Jesus. And when you go, you also be with Jesus. So it's a great thing to do. Accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. So that your life would never be the same. Amen. Shall we lift our two hands up? Lift, lift your two hands up. And renounce yourself. Just say, Jesus. Are you ready? God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today, now, that I've taken Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. That Jesus, who died for my sins, now, he's my Lord and personal Savior. And I'll do what the word says. Father, thank you for accepting me to be your son in Jesus' name. Amen. After saying this, be happy because it's a great thing that you have done. The angels are rejoicing. It's a greater decision that you have ever made. So now, after saying this, the requirement that you and I have to do is begin to cast out demon. If you are in your previous state, accepting Jesus, you are now taken from that kingdom to the kingdom of light. So the kingdom of light gives you the power and authority. So use the power and the authority to drive all these demons away from you. The demons, some of the demons are witchcraft, uh, uh, idolatry, a lot. That is fornication, lying, homosexual, lesbian, and all this kind of spirit which fights against you. But after you are finished accepting Jesus, it does not mean that the distance is gone. But now stand on your authority and power to declare those things out of your life because you are now a son. So you say every spirit of lying, Come out of me in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of drunkenness, or every spirit of homosexuality, every spirit of lesbian, every spirit which is not in conform with the word of God, I come out in the name of Jesus. So you begin to cast it out. Then you will never go back from where you come from. I know you are blessed and you do what the word says. So when you begin to cast it out, you will see great testimony in your life. Accepting Jesus is one. Casting out is another aspect. So the requirement for every casting out, when you accept, you must begin to cast out. Then you see the glory of God in your life. Amen. I know you'll be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen.